Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. Now today we're going to be turning this $5 Harbor Freight machete into two different knives. One with a 4 inch blade and one with an 8 inch blade. Let's get started. First we're going to take the handle off. So this is just screwed in. What's funny is that it's got screws on one side and it's got these fake plastic screws on the other. So it has that uniform look but it's only screwed in from one side. Now that the screws are out, let's see if we can take this handle off. And here it is. Here's our blade blank. And here are the blades laid out. I have my four inch blade with a four and a half inch handle and my eight inch blade with a five inch handle. Before I start cutting anything, I'm going to drill three quarter inch diameter holes into the tang of my knife. Make sure that the blade is clamped down for this as it can be very dangerous. Now that I have my holes drilled, it's time to cut these two apart. Now it's time to grind the knife. I'm using a bench grinder but you could also use an angle grinder for this. Now because the steel is already hardened you're going to need some kind of power tool because grinding this by hand is going to be very very difficult. But it can be done. So I'm just grinding out the profile of the blade for right now. And one thing to keep in mind is that it's important not to overheat the blade or you're going to ruin the temper. So as you grind this you want to keep a container of water handy so that when the blade starts to feel a little bit warm you dip it in the water and you can keep grinding. You don't want the blade to discolor or turn blue or anything like that. I'm going to be using a belt sander to true up the blade and also clean up my flats. I went out to the wood pile and split up a piece of black walnut. So I split it in half this way, and then each piece got split in half this way. That way I can make my scales. Trace the handle on the inside of both of the scales. Put about three to four small drops of super glue onto the tang of the knife and then attach it to the handle scale. That way we'll be able to drill our holes and make sure everything fits. And once that's done we can break it apart for the final fit and glue up. Now that the holes are drilled, I just want to do it to the other side. Now that the handle scales are drilled, I'm going to pin them together so I can work on finishing up this front area and have a good blade to handle transition. Now for the pins on this knife, I'm using brass tube. This is quarter inch brass tube and it fits in nicely to these quarter inch holes we drilled. I'm going to pin these two together so I can work on the front. Now that I've got the handle scales to shape, it's time to attach them to the knife. I've gone ahead and taped up the blade, that way cleanup is a little easier. I've got my pins. I'm going to be epoxying this with a two-part epoxy.
Now that the epoxy has had time to cure, I place the knife into a vise and I cut the handle pins flush with the handle. You can use a tapered punch or something similar to flare out the brass tubes. That way it'll lock into the handle better. I'm using an archery field point. With the blade clamped in a vise, start sanding the handle to get the contours. Now that the handle is pretty much shaped the way I want it, I'm going to finish it off by sanding with a foam back pad from 150 grit to 800. And then finish it up with a few coats of boiled linseed oil or your favorite finish. After grinding the secondary bevel on the belt sander, I finish the knife off by sharpening it on a diamond stone. Here are the finished knives. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.